any any sound you put in the the presence you could do that with. And then you can even go um boom boo doom boom boo doo boom. Alright, you hear the panning that's going left and right on it? You can change that. You see we got pan right here, and this is the depth of how far and wide you want it to pan. Like right now it's all the way. Almost. I can bring it down just so that it's lightly going to the left and right. You hear that? Or all the way. Which sounds weird to me, but you can use it for some type of effect. You can even change this. got reverbs hold on time out over here see the reverb is on it got delays too we don't need a delay because this is already delaying um reverb let's see we got make the uh, reverb bigger let's see what it sound like can you hear that Woo. oh let's see what the delay they got let's see Oh, you could change that too to the same thing half or, or eight. Oh no, I think the quarters was good. Oh no, was it quarter D? There we go. Just for the idea, bruh. And you see, all I used was big chord, but I could change the chord sound, whatever. Oh, and I want to go back and click this again. 
and it goes back to the regular screen so I could change anything I want over here. Like, oh, this is dope too. Hold on, let me zoom in on it. Look at this, watch this one. something different. Let me see. Change it now uh, this way. And I can make it come to that point from the attack. Change the attack. How did I do it yesterday? Okay. I hope you're hearing me clear. And I said just mess with it a little bit. You know, you don't. This is that low. Oh, that's hot. That sounds crazy. Let me see this one. But back to the original reason for this course is uh that was hot. I'm gonna mess with that later. And then you can save that if you wanted to just save it. Like after you did it, you could just you could just go here and say store preset or replace it. You don't want to replace your the uh, original big court. So maybe just store preset and uh that'd be dope. And then you can store it and change the name. Like, what? How does it sound? What is this? Change it to uh, all right, store preset, and we big chord, and we'll put uh, uh, ARP, so we know that that's the ARP ARP effect effect. So we know that that'll be that. Whenever we want to get to it, we just go in here. And it should be, yep, right there, right after it, ARP effect. So now whenever we want to come to that sound that we just created, we just click it and it goes right to it. See, my computer ain't strong enough. You see on the bottom, down here, how much? Like, you can see my finger, but you can see the arrow. You see how much, when I hit that chord, how much this jump up to? Look, I even went to the red. That's when you heard that little static. But watch. I need a G5 or something. See computer, my computer's not strong enough. But I'm about to go. So let me quit this before my kids kick the door down and they be on the tape. My wife too. Till later, folks. Peace.